citizens group calls for the Newport Schools administration to dissolve and Campbell County administration take over if Newport doesn't show improvements. David Winter has details of a report just released that now has people taking sides, right David? Yeah, that's right, Kyle. The report was put together by a task force assembled by a group called Re Newport. The education task force says its goal was to support Newport schools. It compiled its data from open records requests and information from the Kentucky Department of Education, and the group is comprised of people recommended by the school board chair and the mayor. But Newport superintendent is crying foul. The snow falls lightly on Newport School District offices this morning, unlike the thud a citizen's report made when it landed at the district earlier this week. I mean, all of the kids in Newport should have every opportunity that they can. Bobby Stubman is one of 10 people on the education task force that authored the report. She has three kids in the district and one on the way there. Among the findings, Newport schools are well-funded, rank among the lowest 5% of schools in Kentucky, and have problems that are profound, pervasive, and systematic, and the current leadership does not have the capacity to carry out a turnaround. Yeah, their central office does make a lot of money, and their teachers don't. The report attributes high teacher turnover, 60% higher than the state average, and attributes it in part to Newport teachers making markedly less than other nearby schools and the superintendent making markedly more. Are you paid too much? As I said, I don't think any superintendent is paid enough. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, with that, or any teacher is paid enough. I want to say both that. Superintendent Kelly Middleton says the data the report cites is outdated, and after a $3 million boost to teachers' salaries, they rank 16th in the state for pay. He also questions the motives of some of those on the task force, showing us that two also authored an application for a charter school in Newport. You know, that seems kind of odd. It, to me, that would be like... Uh, uh, asking Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff to truly help President Trump get better. It's important to have accountability and look at the areas that improve so more students can have successful paths like me. And that's really was my intent. Janiah Miller, also a member of the task force, graduated from Newport High School in 2016. The task force also found teachers believe parents had little influence over the decisions in school, are uninformed, and don't support them. Janiah suggests better outreach, a better website, and a better blueprint for parents to follow. How can we set up a track from people from P through 12 um, as to what they want to do, whether that be vocational, leadership, nonprofit, there's something there, there's something to guide you. I and while Middleton says he agrees with some of the recommendations from the report, on the whole, he implies it's ill-intentioned and ill-founded. I don't know. It looks like, you know, it might be something good to start a fire with, but I don't really see much help it does to Newport schools. Well, the school board president released a statement this afternoon saying that the report does not speak to the hard work or commitment of those who work in the district, but she does say that she hopes the report will stir up community consciousness. The mayor did not return our repeated requests today to speak about this. The head of Renewport says that he hopes people know that the task force wants Newport to retain local control but the report does not recommend, or does rather recommend, that Newport schools, if it doesn't turn around by the end of the 24-25 school year, that it should cede its governance to the Campbell County Schools. All right, David, thank you so much. And that task force says that it plans to hold community meetings about its finding. The superintendent says he plans to complete and distribute a rebuttal at some point next week.